Hey, Scorpio. How are you guys? Welcome in. Welcome in, my darlings. This is your holiday read. Um, we are looking at Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Scorpio. Woo! So let's see where we go. Let's see where we go. <laughs> Hope all is well in your world. Hope everything is going well. I am... I'll tell you in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah. Imagine... You know what daydreaming is? It's manifesting. That's what daydreaming is. Come to the edge. Aw, oh, no place like home. I feel like this is a new, a new day here. Something that's pushing you toward your, um, <clears throat> I do this North Node in your astrology chart. I do this North Node workshop and it's, Really, this is the stuff. This is the stuff of the the reason you're here on this earth. This is the reason for you being here. You're about to embark on a journey or a situation. Let's use this one. Um, that is going to bring you home. It may not seem like it at the outset. It may seem a little bit scary or whatever. But you've manifested this opportunity. Okay, you've manifested this opportunity. And it's going to push you. The North Node pushes you. It's not comfortable. Everyone's like, oh, that's my path in life. I want to know that. Until I say to them, yeah, well, you're going to become a monk. And they're like, oh, that will be hard. <laughs> right. Right. North Node pushes you to do, to stretch, to grow. If you want the most growth in your life, in this life, North Node is where you want to head. 100%. 100%. So let's look at you here. Knight of Cups. Another person coming on your path or in your life right now. Seven of Cups. A little confused, a little for shimmeled. What's this relationship about? Knight of Pentacles. practicality, Virgo energy. So you both are cups. You could both be water signs, but what this relationship is about is something more practical. Okay. So let's see how you're looking at, you could be wanting love. Eight of wands. Okay. This is a, this is, you might've fallen in love with this seven of cups person. Let's see how this, they're looking at you. The world. Wow. Um, this person may be far a distance from you. World and Eight of Wands are both travel cards. You're both looking at this. It also could be that you're looking at this for a long distance kind of relationship. And I don't mean necessarily that you are in a different city or something, but you could be. Um, I feel like you're both looking at the situation of going the distance, the long, the long term. Okay. The, uh... Messages to you from your higher self. Page of Pentacles. Boy, that's some pretty youthful energy here. Let's see how the their higher self is looking as uh, messages to them. Six of Cups. Somebody you could have known as a teenager. Why are they confused? Seven of Cups. Why are why is the Seven of Cups? They have a lot of options. The world is their oyster. Four of Wands. Four of Swords. Healing from a former relationship. Yes. Healing from a marriage. Queen of Cups. They are looking for someone who is um, loyal. They're looking for the Cancerian traits. Right? They want home and hearth. They want that. They They could be like world traveler they could be out in the world a lot they could be dating a lot <clears throat> and they really want someone to be go home be home with um that's what they're really looking here for subconscious for you ace of swords <laughs> 
<laughs> wheel ten of pentacles. The truth is you are too, okay? The truth is both of those are tens. The ace, right, going to the ace, <clears throat> you're, ma you're mirroring them. I think you're not telling them right now, though, that that's what you want. You've, maybe you're afraid that that'll scare them away. Uh, they might be afraid of that, too. They might be thinking, you know, you guys are both world. You, you guys are both like have big jobs or, you know, there's something here about um, being out in the world. But both of you just want to go home. No place like home, right? Both of you just want to go home. <laughs> Subconsciously for this person. Magician. Two, this ace energy here is very strong. It's very much a beginning. Chariot. Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. Uh, this person is very, wow. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They really want to move forward with you. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning. They're manifesting this. Um, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. This person could be a um, can, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. They're very, they have some water in their chart though. They have, uh, and I, I see Taurus up here. This earth energy. And so if you're sort of, um, why this page of Pentacles up here? Offering a tangible new beginning, right? Five of Wands. You could uh, have been seeing other people, right? It's like you know who you want to be with. There's other people around you. There could be an air sign around you, but you're looking toward the sun. You're looking toward somebody who's stable, all right? You're not going to open your heart to um, just anyone. There's been a lot of people around you. There's been past situations that were not good. And so you're really looking for the one, the sun. Um, I, <clears throat> I do feel like if you can move this conversation from the, yo, oh, we're going to Rio, we're going to, you know, um, ski the Alps this winter at Christmas time. You know, I have a, I have a big, uh, a vacation plan or I have a big um, conference that I need to go to in Malibu out in California you know there's this whole big world kind of feeling to it I feel like you both are just like deep down inside you just want to go home and put a fire in the fireplace and watch some football or something <laughs> you know like something because this always this person this Knight of Pentacles always reminds me of a football player whether it's soccer in Europe or this person could be European. <clears throat> There's something here about this person is big in the world. They could be a CEO of something like that. Um, but I, but because of the world energy here, I'm feeling like you could, you could meet them while you're doing one of those things that I said, right? You're out traveling in the world and you could meet this person. Um, they could be uh, not from, your country. If you're from the United States, they could be from Spain or they could be from Ireland or something. Uh, <clears throat> There's a big world quality to this. This person is likely going to travel to see you. Okay, chariot energy here. Traveling to see you, making an offer, ace of cups. This, the knight of pentacles, or the king of pentacles in this uh, deck always reminds me of um, Richard Gere in Pretty Woman. So that does seem this it does seem very nice and um, like a like a couple that's meant to be because of the nature of the mermaid and she's very elegant, right? She's um, that's really that's really beautiful. I I feel like they're looking for their Audrey Hepburn. They're looking for their their person who is this magnificent of the world kind of person. And I feel like that's who you are here. You might be showing yourself as Knight of Cups. Very romantic. The truth is you do want to go the distance here and you're not willing to do um, anything less. Not settling for less. I feel like this person's a good option. The world. Um, let's see here. I want to get one more thing before we move on. Three of Wands. 
even this card is like the three of wands is like the person standing there waiting for their ships to come in. This is also a big world card. Okay. So, um, they could have expectations three, three weeks. You could be meeting this person. If you don't know this person already, three weeks, you could have, you could have dated them in high school and now they're just so different. The whole world is, they've come from this teenagery kind of energy. And now they're the king of pentacles, right? They're this just big, nothing is off limits to this person. This person has the resources. Um, even the ace of cups is sort of like on top of the world kind of a thing, you know, um, the chariot energy, getting in a car, going somewhere, getting on a plane, going somewhere. Um, there's a big world nature to this. There's no expense will be spared. Okay. All right. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do an, um, uh, an extended here. I'm going to look at their true intentions, their true feelings. Will it last? I will also look at, uh, let's see. I'm going to look at Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo. Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. I might look at Cancer because Cancer's here too. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius, Cancer. Okay. All right. Link is below for you. I will see you over there.